Hello and welcome to CAD Resource Creation Tool which is wonderful for creating things. Like signs or engraving on a part and a whole bunch of other things we can do with that tool. So to get started, let's go ahead and choose this block right here. I'm going to go ahead and start a sketch on that front face. And now right up here under my sketch toolbar. I have this one called text, click there. And I can go ahead and type in whatever I'd like. So I'm going to type in hello. All right. And notice right here on my screen, I get that little hello, right? And wherever I click, or I put my cursor at, and when I click there, it moves that text to wherever I happen to click. However, that's not really scientific, right? Because I don't really know how to line things absolutely perfect. You can, you can eyeball it, but I prefer to have things aligned a little bit better. And that's where we get this little thing called curves over here. So before we actually type it out, let's go back and actually create some curves. So exit out of that. Now I'm already in that sketch. So let's go ahead and create a couple other lines. So right here, I'm going to create a center line. And just draw the line, so I can put some text right there. Let's do one more over here. I'm going to snap to the edge, make one short line. Then a long line in the middle. And another short line on the side. And that's going to allow me to line things up. And I'm going to make this line over here, hold down control, and that line over there, let's make those guys equal. All right. So now I can kind of make my sketch. On this line here are my text right there on that line. And then it's always going to be in the center. Same thing down here. If I wanted to, I could also like tie that into the origin. So I could say like from the origin, come down here. To the midpoint of that line, make that one vertical. And now I've got another line down here I can use. I can adjust it up and down as needed, and I can add a dimension, right? So if I want to have some text that's a certain distance. From the edge or the bottom of my part, let's say it to me one inch from there. We can define that right there. Then let's go ahead and create a spline. And for my spline I'm going to just go ahead. And just create three, actually four points there, there. Okay. And then let's just move that around a little bit. All right. So those are my different lines I can use. Now let's exit out of that sketch. Now let's go back and start a brand new sketch. So start a sketch on that top plane one more time. Come back up to the text tool and this time I'm going to choose a curve. So I'm going to start with this one down here. I'll say that one right there. And the text I want to say or type out is SOLIDWORKS. So I'm going to type an SOL there it is. Now notice it's over here on the left hand side. And I want it actually to be centered. So I can choose the centered command right here. And it's going to bring there. I could also do the right justified if I'd like. I can flip it upside down if I wanted to. I can switch the direction if I wanted to. So it's a whole bunch of things you can do with that text. But I do want it centered. And I also don't want to use the default font. So uncheck that box, then click on font. And I have all the system fonts here that are available. So I can go through here and find one I do like. I can adjust the size either units or points. So I'm going to say, let's make that like a quarter inch tall, and then click on. OK and now you can see there is the text that I have. Now some fonts do cause problems. If something overlaps, it will cause an issue. So make sure the font you're choosing doesn't overlap any of the other letters when you're creating it. Because more than likely, we're going to be cutting this word into our part or extruding it out of our part. So let's try that. So I'm going to go over here and do features. I'm going to do an extruded cut. Let's go ahead and cut SOLIDWORKS directly into this block. And 0.1 looks fine click OK. And now we've added that engraving detail into our block. If you want to be really fancy, you can click on it over here and change the color. Let's go ahead and change that. To something like a white here's the white click OK. And now it stands out. So there it is. OK, well, let's do it one more time. Choose the top face again. Come over here to sketch. I'm going to come over here to text. My curve, I'm going to use this one right here in the center. Because I want everything perfectly aligned. And I'm just going to type in hello. Same thing, come back down to the document font. Let's go ahead and make that one quite a bit bigger. I'm going to use maybe like a 36. And notice over here, if you start typing more things, I'm just going to type in some random letters here. See what happens is, if it's not long enough for the line, they just stop. Right? 
that's a problem. So you got to make sure that your line is long. Enough to hold whatever you're typing. If I left justify, it doesn't really change in this case here. But if you write justify, it does kind of push it to the other side. So keep in mind that you do want to make that line long enough. So all text you have will fit on it. And you can always go back to that sketch and modify the length of that. So that if you did want to make, for instance, this is going to be left justified and put it over here. So I can start where I want that text to. Start right over here on the left hand side. If you had multiple lines of text, you might want to create some type of sketch that lined up everything on the left justification. So when you started creating multiple lines, they would all line up on the left, and that's how you do it. So there's my second one. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And also in the same time here, I'm going to go ahead and choose one more. I'm going to choose as far as my curve. Let's go ahead and choose this one up here. And let's type in SolidWorks again. And notice it just follows that curve, right? And if you want to change the font to something else, let's go over here and change it to like 20. Now you can see it follows it along. You can move it to the bottom side of the curve. Or you can change the direction if you wanted to. But in this case, we want to just keep it where it is. And I want to make it a center and let's go ahead. And make sure it goes the right direction. So there's our other SolidWorks. So you can have any type of curve you want. Whether it's a straight line, a spline, an arc, whatever you want. You can define how that's going to go together. And this is really powerful for the sign industry or engraving on your part or things like that. Or even if you want to be like a silkscreen detail. You can create this here. And then export that out to a DXF or DWG file. So it can go out and be made in a silkscreen. Then screened on your part or laser cut into your part. If you're going to make a sign, or even if you want to cut out letters that you're going to use for something else. You can use these tools here, cut out those letters. And then use them for whatever you're making. So it's a very powerful tool inside of SolidWorks. I will see you in the next video, take care.